This is your second type of distance problem. These are going to be opposite direction problems. So the first one we looked at, the ones you'll see the most often, are the same direction. These are the opposite direction. Copy this example down. When you're ready, hit play and we'll go through it. Let's go ahead and start with a picture. You should always start these with some type of picture to help you set up your problem from there. So I've got a Sith and a Jedi that are leaving the Death Star at the same time. Okay, so let's pretend this is the Death Star. I can't draw very well, so I'm not going to try to draw the Death Star here, but if you want to, you can. They're leaving at the same time, but they're traveling in opposite directions. So it should look something like that. And let's say this is the Sith, and this is the Jedi. And I'm going to make that not look like a multiplication sign. There. So here's the Death Star. They leave at the same time. They start heading in opposite directions. The Sith is averaging 42 miles per hour. The Jedi is averaging 51 miles per hour. And then it asks you, when are they going to be 651 miles apart? So what you end up thinking about is if they both started here and they both started traveling this way, what would you do to their times to figure out when they are 651 miles apart? I'm going to show you two ways to do it. The first way is kind of the, I don't want to say shortcut, but if you memorize this way, it's a lot easier and it gets you to the answer. The other way is going to be using the chart. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the shortcut that you're allowed to use first as long as you memorize it. Here's what you have to think about. 42 miles an hour plus the Jedi's 51 miles an hour is going to equal 651 miles total. This total per hour plus this total per hour equals the miles that they're going to be apart because this whole thing equals 651 miles. You don't even have two equations if you take the shortcut. You have one equation and you just solve. So what you end up having here is 42H plus 51H equals 651. Add, oops, I forgot my two, sorry. Add these up. You get 93H equals 651, because you're just combining your like terms there. Divide both sides by 93, and you have your hours equals 7, or your time. This could be 42 um, an hour, or it could be 42 a minute, if you were talking about minutes, whatever it is. You could also have 42 time. It's up to you, but something that's going to relate to your time. And then you're done. So you would write, they will be 651 miles apart in 7 hours. Now I'm going to show you the way that you could have solved this using the chart. Go ahead and write it in, take a look at it, but I really recommend that you learn when you see opposite direction problems that you're allowed to just set up the, the one total per hour plus the other total per hour equals the miles they're going to be apart. There might be a time sometimes where they change hours, like maybe one leaves an hour later, but you'll figure out how to do all that within the other ones where you just adjust it by an hour. Now we're looking at it using the chart. Copy the chart down, hit play when you're ready to go through it all. So you have distance equals rate times time. You have a Sith and you have a Jedi. You know right away their miles per hour so you can fill in their rate. The Sith is going 42 miles per hour, Jedi 51. You know they left at the same time so that's your actual question, how many hours. So you know your time is T, or H for hours, if you wanted that there. 
This is where you have to be aware of these. What you're saying here is you're looking at a total distance. So if you take the distance the Sith travels, you're going to actually subtract that distance from the total to find the Jedi. Just like those mixture problems where we had to be aware of what we were looking for. Or if you took what the Jedi traveled, the distance the Jedi traveled, you'd have to subtract the Jedi's distance from the total to get the Sith. So one of them is just going to be D, and then the other one is going to be the total distance apart, subtracting the distance of the other. It's the opposite of what you saw in the same direction. You have to be really careful of that. It's not D minus 651. It's this 651 miles. That's why even setting up a picture with a chart would help you. This 651 miles, subtracting the Sith or subtracting the Jedi, gives me the other. From here, I'm not going to solve the whole thing for you, but I'm going to help you set up your equations. You have your two equations. Your two equations are D equals 42T and 651 minus D equals 51T. And this is set up for substitution. And then you would end up with 651 subtracting. And because I only have to distribute that negative to the one term, I'm not going to put it in parentheses. But if there was two terms there, I'd have to have it in parentheses because I'd be distributing the negative to each of them. There's only one. It's already distributed to it. So I can bring that down. Equals 51t. Oops, 51t. And you should all know how to solve from there by now. Once you solve, you're going to find T, which is your time in hours, and you should end up with 7. There's one other direction that's an opposite direction that I wanted to just quickly show you so you don't get confused. Sometimes they'll talk about two things that start different places, but then so one starts here, and one starts here, and then they travel toward each other like that. And it will ask something like, when do they meet? It's the exact same type of problem. It's the rate and the time of the first one plus the rate and the time of the second one, just like we did in the other one that we're traveling this way, equals the total distance. It's the exact same setup. It just looks different in the picture because they're starting somewhere else moving toward each other. And it asks when they meet but you do the exact same thing. That's the end of opposite direction. Now you need to go and watch the current and wind problems, which are going to be a little bit different, but we're considering them as part of our distance problems today.